A few months back, I took a look at an upcoming horror game called Layers of Fear. It's a first person horror game where you play as a has-been artist wandering around a creepy mansion as you experience bizarre hallucinations whilst trying to finish a painting. As you completed the painting step by step, the game slowly alluded to recent events, hinting at a dark and disturbing series of events that ultimately culminated in the player's descent into madness. Among a sea of crappy first-person horror games that seem to get released almost daily, no seriously. Go check out Jim Sterling's YouTube channel to see what I mean. Layers of Fear stood out due to its photorealistic visuals, superb sound design, voice acting, and some genuinely original and frightening jump scares. Now we've finally got the full release. Developed by Bloober Team SA, it's available for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Microsoft Windows. So you're probably wondering, Sunny Jim, if it's worth your time. Well, I'd say yes. Yes, it is. And despite its short length, I'd have no issues recommending this game to anyone who doesn't have a heart condition. Now, before people grab their pitchforks and start screaming spoilers, let me just say that for the purpose of this review, I'm only using footage from the first 30 or so minutes of the game, and I have to at least show some scripted sequences, otherwise it's just gonna be footage of me walking down dark corridors, which makes for a boring ass video. But I will say that it's probably best that you experience the game for yourself before watching any large chunks of gameplay and even potentially watching this review. Laser Fear is a relentless game, and it's one that's truly mastered the art of messing with the player's mind. It's scripted in a way that it rarely gives you a moment to catch your breath, and the shocks come frequently and often without warning. There's one moment in the game that I think caused me to scream louder than I've ever screamed at a video game before. So look, if you want to continue watching the review, that's fine, but don't say I didn't warn you. Anyway, expanding a little bit on the plot itself, you're an unnamed artist who returns home one night to continue working on his magnum opus, inside his dusty old studio that's littered with empty wine bottles and puddles of dried paint. The first thing you'll notice when playing Laser Fear is undoubtedly just how goddamn good this game looks, and almost every single aspect of the game is oozing with detail and style. The lighting in particular is just gorgeous, and the texture work is some of the best I've seen in recent memory, and even incidental props and pieces of furniture are modelled extremely realistically. This is just a great looking game, and it runs smoothly on the Unity engine. Combined with the sound design, which creates a really haunting and unique atmosphere, it's a game that truly requires a good pair of headphones to help heighten the mood. I gotta say, I did get a sense of the game almost being too dark at times, more so than I remember when the game was in early access, but you can adjust the brightness settings in the menu, which doesn't make it too debilitating, and it does kind of fit in with the theme and tone they're going for. What's most impressive is how the environment constantly shifts and changes when you're not looking. It's common to turn a corner to a dead end only to spin around and find yourself in an entirely new area. Doors often slam in your face and the lights dim whenever you enter a room as one of the many frightening scripted sequences occurs. Without spoiling anything, the general story is about the relationship between the artist, his wife, and his daughter, and there's a few entities you encounter that reflect this motif. It feels very much inspired by other horror games like Silent Hill and more recently PT, but the encounters you have are definitely original, and they always manage to catch you off guard. More than the concept though, visually they show off a level of artistic flair that is seldom seen in horror games. I mean, take a look at a cookie cutter horror game like Outlast for instance with its cliched haunted asylum setting, and then compare it to Layers of Fear set in a horrific Victorian era mansion where the paintings are literally coming to life. You can be killed in this game, at least in the sense that you have to restart the area you're located in, but I don't think there's really any sort of game over state, and at worst you're only having to replay the last 2 or 3 minutes worth. I really see Laser Fear as an example of jump scares done properly. They're still essentially just loud noises that you can't help but be shocked by, but the way they're woven in with the general atmosphere really does increase how powerful they are when they finally occur. Often you're just waiting for that next jump scare so intently that when it finally happens, your heart almost explodes out of your chest. I'm looking for Ray Finkel and a clean pair of shorts. Even when the game got me really good and had me screaming like a little bitch, I couldn't help but start laughing like right afterwards. It's scary, but it's the good kind of scary. And the game tries so desperately, and succeeds I might add, to constantly scare the bejesus out of you that it really just is insanely good fun. In terms of the gameplay, it's not entirely brain busting, I mean this is really just a walking simulator at heart, albeit a terrifying one. What little puzzles there are are really simple to accomplish, and the solution is usually within arm's reach. 
Most often these are combination locks that you need to figure out. And there's other times you may need to find a key for a locked door or just collect an important item in your near vicinity. Again, most of which are prominently positioned so you can't really miss them if you tried. In terms of navigation, it's almost impossible to get lost either as the game always pushes you down this very linear path. Lastly, I gotta admit though, I'm still not too sold on the price. I mean, the game is probably gonna take you the better part of two hours to complete, maybe a few more if you try to replay it to experience the alternate endings. But still, 20 bucks for all of that doesn't seem entirely fair. 10 bucks or even just 15 would have sweetened the deal a hell of a lot more. But still, I really think Laser Fear is one of the most enjoyable, unique, artistic, and most importantly, frightening horror games I've played in recent memory. It's, as I said, a good example of jump scares being done properly, and the amount of polish with the visuals, the voice acting, the sound and music propels it out of that cesspool of never-ending early access horror games that we're all so used to. It is a shame that it's over so quickly, but if you're after a two or so hour distraction, that will probably end with you filling your trousers, well, look no further.